Let's now have a look at some of the more advanced controls in the matrix. As we have already found, matrix operates by taking control of the note and gate CV information that would normally be controlled by Reason's main sequencer. We can see this if we press the tab key on our computer keyboard to view the back of the Reason rack, like so. We can see that there is an output running from gate CV output on the matrix to gate sequencer control input on the subtractor. There's also a lead connecting note CV output of the matrix to the CV sequencer control input of the subtractor. We can also see an unused connection called curve CV on our matrix. This is useful as it can effectively be used as a modulation source that controls other parameters than the pitch and gating of the notes in our pattern. For example, the cutoff of filter 1 on our subtractor. Let's now make a connection from the curve CV output of the matrix to do this. Simply move your mouse to the curve CV output on the matrix and right click or control click if you are using a Mac. You will now see a list of all of the devices we are currently using. We now select the desired input from the list. I will go to Subtractor 2 and select Filter 1, Cutoff, Modulation, Input. You will now see that a connection has been created between the Curve CV output of the matrix to the Filter 1 Frequency Cutoff Modulation Input of the Subtractor. It is possible to set the curve to be uni or bipolar. In unipolar, our curve will move from zero to maximum. However, in bipolar, zero will be in the middle, which will allow us to input positive or negative values. This will be important if we are trying to modulate a parameter with both positive or negative values, such as the pitch of an oscillator. If we flip round to the front of our rack again, using the tab key, we can now access the curve screen by selecting Curve, here. You will now see that all the note information for our pattern has disappeared. We input curve data in the same way that we affected the velocity bars on each step by simply dragging the bars up or down to increase or decrease the amount of modulation. If we now press run, we can hear that the cutoff of filter 1 of our subtractor is now being modulated according to our settings on the curve screen. If we tab round and switch this to bipolar mode, you will now see that we are able to modulate the frequency cutoff to move above and below the position set in our subtractor. It is possible to use the curve input along with note and gate data on a pattern, as we have just done. You can, however, connect a matrix to an instrument and just use it to modulate a certain parameter without inputting notes for it. This will allow you to use the matrix as a very, very interesting effects device that can modulate other parameters of your instrument.